Who Would Win? Ultimate Reptile Rumble by Jerry Palota, illustrated by Rob Bolster. Welcome to the Ultimate Reptile Rumble. Twelve fierce reptiles are going to battle it out. Who do you think will win? Saltwater Crocodile. Did you know? Saltwater crocodiles can weigh a ton. They can be 20 feet long. Math fact, one ton is 2,000 pounds. Name fact, they are nicknamed Salty. It is simple. If we allow the saltwater crocodile in this book, it will win the competition. This ferocious creature is the largest reptile in the world. It can swim fast, jump completely out of the water, and move quickly on land. Look at that mouth. We will save it for another time. Leatherback turtle. Crocodiles, alligators, turtles, snakes, lizards, amphisbanians, and tuatara are in a group of animals called reptiles. Scientists call them reptilia. Digging fact. Amphisbanians are burrowing reptiles, living fossil. The tuatara is the only living rhynchocephalian. All the others are extinct. Did you know? Reptiles are cold-blooded. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest turtle in the world weighing up to 1,500 pounds. It is not fair for it to fight a small lizard or a small snake. Sorry leatherback sea turtle, you cannot be in this competition. Reticulated Python The longest snake in the world is the reticulated python. It is simply too long for this bracketed battle. How could it ever fight a flower pot snake that is as small as your little finger? Fact, a reticulated python grows to be 25 feet long. That's about as long as a school bus. Fact, reptiles have dry scaly skin. Did you know? The heaviest snake in the world is the green anaconda. Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is the largest lizard on earth. Don't be greedy, Komodo dragon. You already have your own book. At 10 feet long, you are too big. Sorry, you're not welcome in the ultimate reptile rumble competition. Fact, Komodo dragons have mouths full of dangerous bacteria. They also have blood thinners in their saliva. Fun fact, the study of reptiles is called herpetology. That's it. The saltwater crocodile, leatherback sea turtle, reticulated python, and komodo dragon are out. Goodbye. Now on to the rumble. Let the show begin. Our first fight in this competition is a green mamba versus a gila monster. When a reptile loses, it is out of the contest. The green mamba is a venomous snake. Color fact. The black mamba is actually silver. It is named for its black gums. Species fact. This eastern green mamba prefers to live in a tree. Round one, match one. Green mamba versus Gila monster. Only a few lizards in the world are venomous. The Gila monster is one of them. Gila monsters live most of their lives underground. Fact, venom is poison. Both reptiles decide to get some sun. The green mamba comes down from the shade of a tree as the Gila monster climbs out of its underground burrow. The snake spots the lizard. The Gila monster is slow and no match for the shifty green mamba. The green mamba immediately attacks and bites the Gila monster, injecting it with venom. The fight is over. Green mamba wins. Poison fact. Some venom affects your nerves, other venom damages your heart. The chakwala is a lizard with a very clever defensive behavior. When threatened, it crawls into a crack in a rock and expands its body. It blows up like a balloon. This makes it impossible to wrestle out of a crevice. Large number fact. There are about 6,000 different species of lizards. Maybe we should have written an ultimate lizard rumble book. Round 1, match 2, Chapwala versus Amphisbanian. The next fight features an Amphisbanian. Everyone has heard of snakes, crocodiles, and lizards, but Amphisbanians get no respect or publicity. Not many people know about them. 
name fact. Amphisbanians are also called legless lizards or worm lizards. Species fact. This one is a black and white speckled amphisbanian. The amphisbanian tries to bite the lizard. The chakwala fights back. The chakwala's legs give it an advantage. It bounces around and bites the amphisbanian in the head and neck. The fight is over. Chakwala wins. Confusing. An amphibian is not a reptile. Amphibians are frogs, toads, salamanders, Sicilians, and newts. Research and learn. Learn the difference between an amphibian and an amphibian. The Faraday lance is one of the deadliest snakes on earth. Yikes! They have extra long fangs. When they bite, they inject a large amount of venom into their victims. Humans need to totally avoid the Faraday lance. Mouth fact. Snakes do not chew their food. They only eat things they can swallow whole. Round one, match three. Faraday lens versus snapping turtle. A snapping turtle has a powerful jaw. Its bite hurts. Some turtles can completely hide in their shells, but a snapping turtle cannot pull itself all the way in. Fact, an alligator snapping turtle is the largest snapping turtle. Jaw fact. Turtles do not have teeth. The snapping turtle is too big for the fair de lens to swallow, so it should have no interest in the turtle. Uh oh, the turtle gets too close. The fair de lens is an aggressive snake. Heat fact The fair de lens is a pit wiper. It has organs called pits in front of its eyes. This snake can sense your body heat. The fair de lens bites the snapping turtle in the neck. It happens too fast for the turtle to respond. The venom affects the snapping turtle's nerves. The turtle has trouble walking. Then the turtle stops breathing. Freddy Lance wins. A gharial is a crocodile-type reptile with a sword-shaped snout. Its mouth is perfect for catching fish. Fact: A gharial or gavial is also called a fish-eating crocodile. Round 1, match 4. Gurial versus sea iguana. When people see an iguana, they think of a dinosaur. Dinosaurs probably looked a lot like iguanas. They have long tails. They are land iguanas and sea iguanas. This sea iguana lives in the Galapagos Islands. Fact: The sea iguana eats seaweed. History fact: The iguanodon was the second dinosaur ever discovered. It was named after the iguana. The gharial's teeth are much longer than the iguana's teeth. The gharial has a stronger tail. They fight a bite here, a bite there. They wrestle from the land to the water, chomp, chomp, snap. Sheep fact. Crocodiles have V-shaped heads. Alligators have U-shaped heads. If you wrote this book, would you say the gharial has a sword-shaped head, or an eye-shaped head, or a scissor-shaped head? Gharial wins. Gecko. Okay, time to take a break. We thought about putting a gecko in the fight bracket, but geckos are too small for this book. Look, geckos are very colorful. They should be in a color pageant, not a fight. Wow, there are about 1,500 different species of geckos. Did you know? Some geckos can walk upside down on glass surfaces. Fact, geckos are lizards. Tuatara. This reptile is too special to be in a battle. Tuatara, don't get hurt, you're a living fossil. This reptile looks like a lizard, but it is from a group of mostly extinct reptiles called Rhynchocephalia. Strange fact, Tuataras have a third eye on the top of their skull. Scientists think it is used to regulate body heat. Geographic fact, Tuataras live only on islands off of New Zealand. World map, New Zealand, third eye. Rhynchocephalia fossils have been found that are more than 200 million years old. Their ancestors lived with dinosaurs. Back to the tournament. The inland taipan is considered one of the deadliest snakes on earth. It is also rare. It lives in the desert of central Australia. Yikes! One inland taipan bite has enough venom to kill 100 people. Fun fact, 
A snake can flick its tongue without opening its mouth. The tongue is hidden in a sheath. Round 1, Match 5, Inland Taipan vs. Skink Color Fact The blue tongue helps scare predators away. Skinks are burrowing lizards. They prefer to be underground. In this book, we are using the blue-tongued skink. They don't like to let go after they bite. The inland taipan moves across the ground. The skink sneaks up from an underground tunnel and bites the snake. The blue-tongued skink didn't bite a vital spot. The snake turns around and bites and injects venom into the blue-tongued skink. The venom takes only 30 seconds to work. The skink stops moving. Inland taipan fact. It is also called a fierce snake. It has fierce venom, not a fierce personality. Nickname fact. The skink is also called bluey. Inland Taipan wins. The Inland Taipan is moving to the next round. These turtles are called box turtles because they can pull their tails, legs, and head into their shells and be closed in like a box. If you live in North America, you might find one in your neighborhood. Age fact. A box turtle can live to be 100 years old. Heat fact. To warm up, a reptile goes outside and basks in the sun. Definition. Terrestrial means on the earth. The box turtle can swim, but it prefers to walk on land. It is a terrestrial turtle. Round 1. Match 6. Box turtle versus green sea turtle. This is a green sea turtle. Sea turtles cannot walk on land, but they are great swimmers. These turtles spend their whole lives in the ocean. They come ashore only to lay their eggs. It would be almost impossible for these two turtles to meet in the wild. Wet fact. An aquatic animal lives in the water. A green sea turtle is much larger than a box turtle. If they were the same size, the green turtle would have an advantage in water. Battle fact. This match is freshwater versus salt water. Versus fact. Small versus big. The box turtle takes one look at the giant green sea turtle and closes itself inside its box shell. It refuses to come out. The box turtle forfeits the match. Green sea turtle wins. Scale fact. The hard scales on a turtle's shells are called scoots. Most turtles have 13 scoots. We started with 12 reptiles in round 1. Now we have made it to the second round. Only 6 reptiles are left in this bracketed fight. After this round, there will be 3 reptiles left. Mamba fact. There are 4 types of mambas. Black, Jameson's, Eastern Green, and Western Green. Mambas are the fastest snakes in the world. This camouflaged mamba prefers to stay up in the trees where the leaves are green, just like its scales. It sees the chakwala and slithers down for a closer look. Round 2, Match 1, Green Mamba vs. Chakwala Chakwalas are herbivores that eat flowers, leaves, and some fruits. They have no interest in eating green mambas. The chakwala sees the deadly green mamba. Dry home fact. Chakwalas live in the desert. The chakwala sneaks into a crack and waits. When the green mamba snoops around, the chakwala stays motionless, hoping the snake will lose interest. The chakwala does not want to be eaten by the snake. The chakwala expands his body. As he puffs up, a loose boulder falls and squishes the green mamba's head. Chakwala wins. On to the next round. The aggressive fer de lance is the deadliest snake in Central and South America. It causes more injuries than alligators and crocodiles. It ambushes small animals. Surprise fact. An ambush is a sneak attack. Watch out, fer de lance, danger. Scientists that study the rainforest have to be cautious around them. Round 2, match 2, fer de lance versus gorilla. The fish-eating gorilla has interlocking teeth. It also has sharper teeth than a crocodile, alligator, or caiman. Gurriels would not attack a human. Definition. Interlocking means parts that fit together. Did you know? Snakes smell with their forked tongues. The Ferdilands is an excellent swimmer. It swims across the stream without knowing the gurriel is underwater patiently waiting for fish to swim by. Zap! 
The snake is mistaken for a fish and the gharial slices the fur de lance before it even has a chance to defend itself. The gharial is lucky. The fur de lance did not have time to inject venom. Gharial wins. If we wrote a most dangerous snake book, the inland taipan would be number one. It is scary and nasty. So sorry, boom slang. Cottonmouth, rattlesnake, sea snake, copperhead, king cobra, and puff adder. You all don't measure up. Turtles beware. Round two, match three. Inland taipan versus green sea turtle. A young green sea turtle will eat meat and fish. An adult green sea turtle eats seaweed and sea grass. The green sea turtle would have no interest in eating a snake. The green sea turtle is a herbivore. Definition. Herbivores eat plants. Sea turtle fact. There are seven species of sea turtles. Leatherback, green, hawksbill, Kemp's Ridley, olive Ridley, flatback, and loggerhead. The inland taipan is from the inland desert. The green sea turtle is from the ocean. There are places on earth where the desert meets the ocean. The snake could never swallow a giant turtle. The green sea turtle shuffles ashore. The inland taipan sees and smells the turtle. The two reptiles get close. The turtle senses the danger and goes back in the ocean and swims away. The inland taipan wins and is going on to the finals. Inland taipan wins. Round Robin. Oh no. We started with 12 reptiles. Due to the math, there are only 3 reptiles left. In a bracketed tournament with 16 competitors, we would have had the Reptile Final Four. We now need a round robin types of championship finals. Tournament fact. A round robin is when everyone in the bracket has to play everyone else in the bracket. We will use letters instead of numbers. A. Chapwala. B. Gariel. C. Inland Taipan. A will fight B. A will fight C. B will fight C. The reptile with the best record will win. May the best reptile win. Round 3, match 1. A. Chakwala versus B. Garia. It's a lizard versus a crocodile type. A plant eater versus a fish eater. The chakwala has come a long way. Can it continue? The garia has a tricky mouth and it could use its tail as a weapon. Dental fact. Some garials have 100 teeth. The smaller chakwala doesn't stand a chance. How could it fight the larger gharial? Puffing itself up will not work. The gharial uses its tail like a whip. Smack! Gharial wins. In a round robin, both contestants have to fight again. Rest up, chakwala! The chakwala recovered from the first fight and now faces the inland taipan. It is not looking good for the chakwala. Soccer fact. The first round of the World Cup is a round robin. Every country must play a match against every other country. Round 3, match 2. A. Chakwala versus C. Inland Taipan. It's lizard versus snake. Four legs versus no legs. No poison versus venom. Teeth versus fangs. Common occurrence. Often a venomous snake will bite without releasing venom. The chakwala trots away from the inland taipan. The snake follows. The inland taipan strikes. Ouch! Its fangs pierces the chakwala and the inland taipan injects venom. The fight is over. Inland taipan wins. Good night, chakwala. You're out. There's one fight left. Final match. Both reptiles have won a match in the round robin. This fight will settle it all. The winner will be champion of the ultimate reptile rumble. Gurial, one win, zero losses. Inland Taipan, one win, zero losses. Chakwala, zero win, two losses. Round three, match three. B. Gurial versus C. Inland Taipan. This fight is sharp teeth, teeth, and more teeth versus deadly venom. Four legs versus no legs. Crocodilia versus Serpentis. Classification fact. Crocodiles, alligators, caimans, and gharial are in a group called Crocodilia. Serpentis. Scientific classification of snakes. The gharial sees the inland taipan. The snake would love to slither over and put its fangs into the gharial. The snake is too slow. 
The gorilla quickly turns its head and one of its teeth smacks the inland taipan. The snake is wounded. Gorilla wins. This is one way the competition might have ended. Write your own ending or think of a new version of an ultimate rumble book. The End